That's right. It's Real 92.3, LA's new home for hip-hop. E-Rock is in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Basement. Uh, shout out Diana Michelle. Shout out my brother DJ Fuse. He's in the mix right now. And uh, yo, special guest in the building. His name is Capella Gray, my brother. How are you? Good to see yes, you. Yes, sir. Wagwan, what's the vibes? Thank you for having me. Man, all day, all day. Yo, big record. Big record thank all you, around you. the country, especially in New York. I think the first time I heard about you was when my man, uh, my man DJ Quiz, who's a G Easy's DJ, was like, "Yo, you playing this Capella Gray record yet?" I was like, "Man, I know about it, but you know, I'm I'm not I'm not knowing everything about it just yet." But let's talk about Gallus. What what exactly is a Gallus? Am I saying that right? Because yeah, now you're saying it right, Gallus. Somebody who's good with the gal, them. You know what I'm saying? A man who have beer gal. You know what I'm saying? So enough gal. Enough gal. So ex- exactly what is that for somebody that doesn't necessarily understand, like, you know, exactly Man, what you're saying? Gal girls, you know what I'm saying? A couple context clues, you know what I'm saying? Just money, just, just good, good with the shorties, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you okay, know? okay. That's what's up. And you got a new remix that's out with Chris Brown, I believe, right, man? How did that come Chris together? Chris Brown and Popcorn. Can't forget Popcorn. Ooh, Popcorn, legend right there, that, man. That, yeah, it's a legend, legend. Yes, sir. But How that did that come together? Crazy. Um, just organically, the whole I feel like the whole way that that Gallus came up, just period, was just real organic. It's a lot of love. Chris reached out, got it done. Then Popcon reached out, we got it done. We ain't even waste no time. We ain't even we ain't even concerned with no politics. Let's just get it done and make a movie, and that's what we did. So you know what I'm saying. Now we here. That's what's up, man. And you're from the Bronx, right? Yes, sir. Big Bronx, uptown where it's Lydia. So like, what was that one moment that led you to do this music thing? Um, I mean, I've been a musician for years, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I was playing the keys and just, just, you know, mad different instruments from young in church and all that. And then I got into production and production and writing in like the teenage years. And then 2020, I decided to bet on myself and be an artist. And now we here, you know what I'm saying? Taking over. That's what's up. That's what's up. And I mean, how does it feel, man, to hear like, you know, your record all around, you know, New York and literally everyone singing it word for word in the club and whatnot, like, you know, being from the Bronx and being that you got this history in the streets out there? Nah, it's definitely a good feeling. You know what I'm saying? This is all we prayed for. This is all we worked for. This is all we wanted. So now that it's here, you know what I'm saying? It is a really good feeling. You know what I'm saying? Some some lyrics you wrote in the trap. Or something like that is everywhere where there's people that you never even heard of singing in places you never even heard of singing your lyrics and all that. This is the craziest feeling ever. Like as a new artist, I'm just grateful to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Have this experience mm-hmm. right now. So like, you know, what I've noticed is that like, you know, you know, you've got kind of like, you know, a reggae and R and B type of like feel. How do you classify like, you know, your music? Um, it's more R and B and hip hop. I don't want people to get it construed thinking that I'm a dance hall artist or anything like that, but even in R and B and hip hop, I'm just blessed to have the Caribbean background where I could tap into um to that cheat code every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Sprinkle that, sprinkle that that Jamaican flavor on there like mm-hmm. parsley is. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I, I you gotta work with what you got. You know what I'm saying? Make history, push the culture forward with a, with a different sound. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. And like you know, from what I'm hearing, man, from other people that have heard, like you know. Um, like, you know, some other material plus like, you know, I know that you're teasing a lot of stuff on your Instagram, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, your, your, your thing right now is you're taking sounds from like, you know, from the two thousands and then making them obviously yours, but making them like, you know, suitable for the audience of 2021. Would you say that's pretty accurate right there? Or like, I, I mean, mean, do you have more yeah, of records like Gallus, like in the, in the tank right now that, that we can anticipate? Yeah, you gotta understand. I was a songwriter and a producer for dumb long, so I got so many songs in the tuck. It's a joke right now. Like, all right, boom. Even though I'll I'll sing, you know, what I'm saying I'm definitely singing for sure. I'm really like a fan of just hip hop, like the actual, as is like the genre of hip hop. So with sampling and everything, that's always gonna be a part of everything that I'm doing. And then I'm as then as a musician, I'm always gonna incorporate that real musicianship with the sampling and all that and the drums long. You know what I'm saying? Mess up people, car speakers with hip hop. So I'm trying to blend everything together. So it is a different sound. It sound like today it just gives you that feeling you get when you listen to '90s music. If that makes any no, sense. No, absolutely, man. I, you know, I mean, I get that very nostalgic, like you know, classic feeling. It's like it's timeless right there. You know, from right. from, from from the get. You know, right? Because it's today. I'm, it's pushing the culture forward. It's future, but it still give you that feeling that that home feeling. No, absolutely, uh, man. I definitely feel that whenever I play that in the club or like, you know, definitely on the radio out here in Los Angeles, man. Yes, um, I- I'm reading right here that you want to be the new voice of the Uptown Bronx. 
and yeah. you want the world to see, you know, the type of talent that the Uptown Bronx has, man. Exactly how, you know, um, how did that come together? Like, you know, like, like, and, and how do you plan on achieving that, you know, to, 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 to be that new voice of the Uptown Bronx? Um, I mean, if we keep it a buck, if we keep it a bean, all the best talent to me, I feel like, I, right, let me keep it, let me, let me, let me hold on. Now keep it a buck, man. That. Keep it a buck. It's all good. All right. It's all good. It's like this. I feel like all the hip hop is at a great place whenever New York is at the top of the food chain, getting right back. You know what I'm saying? When, when we, when we, well, just the East Coast, not even just the East Coast. I feel like it's more specifically just New York. Like the attitude, the 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 energy in New York is so crazy. Swag. You seen the Gallus yeah. music video? You saw the music video for Gallus? Of course, yeah, yeah. Pandemonium in the streets of New York. Mind you, that's a two p.m. on a Monday. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's Absolutely. different in New York. The energy is crazy. So it's like I feel like we got the best engineers, the best producers, the best singers, the best dancers, all of that. So while I do appreciate the rest of the industry and everybody's contributions to music and all that stuff like that, I can't wait to put the spotlight on just the vibes that we have in like the tri-state area. You know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 crazy over there. Uptown is crazy. Harlem is crazy. The Bronx is a movie. Mount Vernon, Westchester. There's even parts of like Connecticut. There's even there's, there's, just the whole tri-state area is nuts right now. You know what I'm saying? So I really want to shine that light and bring that vibe back for real. That's what we're doing with this music. It's going to be a good decade. Trust me. Absolutely, man. And you know, you're a big part of that, man. But who are some of the artists that you grew up listening to that inspired you um, to be the artist you are today? I listen to a lot. I'm not going to lie because it really ranges between like, it, it could go from like Charlie Wilson to like mm -hmm. Outkast to Kanye to 50 Cent to Cameron and them. To like it, it really ranges. KC from Joe to C, then it goes all the way to like. It's a big mean? range right there. Word. So I'm like a real, I'm like a fan fan of music first before anything. So I'm just for really, sure. Yeah. Well, let's just Word. say like you know your top three MCs. I mean they don't got to be from the Bronx, but if they are, you know I I, I can top see why. You know what I'm saying? So ever. top three MCs uh, that you grew up listening to. All right, top three MCs ever. All right, Biggie is the goat. Period. No mm -hmm. funny shit. This. Facts. His cadences and everything. He's a, he's a cheat code. Um, Andre 3000, his storytelling is unmatched. So unmatched. I definitely got to put Andre in there. Um, and I love the energy from 50 Cent. Like how he kind of bulldozed the game. And he said things and then did things that matched. <laughs> so I was And he's still it. doing things that that's still like, you know, out of this world. Like I just got done yeah, watching our book three, Raising Canaan the other night. Like I stood, Bro, stood like, there for what? like nine hours. And then, I'm like, man. BMF joint. He got the BMF joint too. He got he's the BMF joint is hot too, man. Bro, Shit. He violated radio, and then now he's now he's taking he's it's taking over TV. He's different. That's, I'm, shout out to shout out to Fifty. Word. Yo, you know, me too. Um, you know, from from other people that you've interviewed with, you know, I, I I've spoken to them before. We we got on this call, and they, they they're telling me that you are big on energy, and the things you put out there in the universe and whatnot. And, and I'll tell you right now, man, there's not a lot of artists that are like you. You know what I'm saying? Especially people that I talk to, you know, and, and mm -hmm. you know, I appreciate that more than anything. So I do this thing called called, you know, put it in the universe. What 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 yeah. are five things that you would like to put out in the universe? It could be five things that you want to achieve, like you know, five mm -hmm. things that you think the world needs to get better at, five things, you know, anything. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, you know, from 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 what people tell me that obviously positivity, like, you know, you got a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I always like nah, to end the interview sure. with like something that's like, you know, going to be very uplifting and inspiring for somebody that's like, yo, I'm a big Capella Gray fan. And man, he had some shit he had to say. And man, that inspired me to be the be best version of me. What are five things that you'd like to put out there in the universe? I don't got some, I don't have any like thing OD inspired to say right now, especially on the spot. But what I will say is I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be artist of the decade. Um, I'm not going to lie in terms of on the executive tip. Alipac, the family, my label is definitely going to be number one for a decade straight. You know what I'm saying? We bringing all the new vibes back to hip hop. Y'all hear Gallus. Gallus is just the freestyle. Yep. That's the tip of the iceberg. The way we come in is different. So Alipac is definitely going to be um, the number one um, label in the country for sure. Um, let me think. What else? Um, I hope everybody get on their health stuff because we vibing responsibly this year. I mean, this decade, you know what I'm saying? We're going to vibe responsibly. So I'm going to make sure that everybody, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not, I'm going to make sure. 
I'm just encouraging everybody to get on their health. Drink some water. You know what I'm saying? Eat what you eat. Do what you do. Drink some water. You know what I'm saying? Let's exercise. Let's get the body right. Let's get the mind right. Because we can't make history. We can't We can't push the culture forward if, you know what I'm saying? Facts. If, if, you know what I'm saying? If we're sluggish. You know what I'm saying? If we're tired. If, we, if our body isn't right. If we're not, we don't got the right energy. So we're, let's do that. Self-care. Let's take some time. What? Let's get our face. Got right. Let's take care of the pores. All that. Let's exfoliate. Guys, too. Get your nails. Let's get right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good decade. We got to make sure that everything copacetic, everything healthy. So that's really all I wanted to put in the air. You know what I'm saying? Just positive vibes, good energy. And that's basically it. We here. New York is back. I like that. I like that, man. Before we're out of here, man, can we expect an album, an EP? Oh, like, you know, obviously we got the yeah, remix yeah. that's floating in the streets right now. Yeah, nah, Biggest yeah, record pretty much album. all around the country. Nah, nah. What can we expect before we out of here, man? So, boom, talk nice, the single dropping soon, another single dropping soon, and then it's going to be, I'm talking a whole album dropping in a second. Um, okay. Music from the other artists dropping in a second, the other artists on the Alipac, the family. Um, All right. We got Life of the Gallus, the short film drop in. Just trust me, it's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy. We're just getting started. We're just warming up, my brother. Trust me. I like that, man. Well, I, I'm very happy to be here and, you know, doing my part, contributing, making sure that, you know, we support you out here in the city of L.A., in the city of Las Vegas, you know, making sure that we're doing what we're doing for, 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 yeah. for the one and only, the man they call Capella Gray. Ladies yes, and gentlemen, sir, Mayor. Capella Gray in the I building. Thank you for having... stopping by. I appreciate you, my man. Thank you for having me. You are. Thank you for having me. No I doubt. Gallus, the remix is out now. Wherever you can consume music, man, go do that. Go cop that. Let's get it popping. It's the basement right here on Real 92.3.